Samsung is on fire. What's up guys, we're back with some hot news. Samsung's biggest Exynos upgrade could be more powerful than we initially expected. The upcoming Exynos AMD processor will be based on ARM's next generation architecture and well, ARM just made a killer announcement. Yes, ARM has officially announced the brand new Beast Cortex-X2 core along with A710, A510 and the brand new Melee GPU. So the X2 core is set to bring up to 16 percent speed boost over the current x1 core that we see on the s21 ultra while being on the same node and running on the same frequency pretty much being on five nanometer architecture and not changing any clock speed it still is 16 percent faster than the cortex x1 as for the high performing cortex a710 it brings 10 percent performance gains and 30 percent efficiency gains over the a78 of this year now perhaps the most significant gains in performance is with the low power core the Cortex A510 is said to bring a performance boost of up to 35% compared to the Cortex A55 of last year. So you can expect next-gen processors, especially the mid-range chips, to be really, really fast. All in all, Aram says that we could see whopping 33% CPU gains for the next-gen processors, along with 20% improvement in GPU performance and 15% gains when it comes to the efficiency. Now this is where things go absolute beast mode. Samsung won't be using the Melee GPU this time around. The brand new Melee G710, it provides some really good upgrades such as ray tracing and other console level features, but Samsung as we know, they have planned something incredible with AMD that could absolutely destroy the competition. As of now, we've only seen some glimpse of the prototype numbers, which were really, really good. They absolutely thrashed the Apple A14's GPU performance. On top of this awesome GPU, the next Exynos will have Cortex-X2 and RMV9 architecture, which was announced a while ago. This will bring some significant performance gains. RM says that their brand new V9 architecture will bring enhanced vector processing, improved machine learning, and improved digital signal processing. Again, in simple words, this is going to be the biggest Exynos upgrade ever. Also in the news, for the first time, Samsung has made a fan edition tablet official. Yes, the Galaxy Tab S7 FE has been made official. It's going to be priced around $500 to $600 range. It's rocking a non-flagship Snapdragon 750G 5G chip, but at the same time, it provides all the tools that we see with high-end models. So again, there's no high refresh rate display, but it still comes with full-on One UI Android 11. You get S Pen, metallic design, dual speaker tuned by AKG, Samsung DeX capability, all in all, the market definitely has a space for a budget tablet. And last but not the least, I don't know who you are, this still is exciting. Huawei is finally, finally announcing their Harmony OS, unveiling everything on June the 2nd. Just to give you a quick recap, Harmony OS is the alternative to Android for Huawei devices and it's a seamless OS that can be run on pretty much all devices including smartwatches, smartphones, tablets, TVs, IoT devices and much more. This is pretty significant because for the first time with this software, Huawei will be launching its brand new flagship series, the Huawei P50 lineup. So the month of June will be super exciting and that's all for today. Thanks to the innovations from Aram, Samsung Samsung will be taking its performance to an absolute beast level with the AMD GPU. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.